I never thought in a million years I'd end up in the automotive industry. I was a professional football player. Growing up, I always wanted to play sports and play football. Very fortunate, got a chance to go to Florida State in 1993, played for, to me, probably one of the greatest leaders slash coaches of all time, Bobby Bowden. In 1997, I was able to be drafted by the Baltimore Ravens, and I lived my dream. My dream was to get to the NFL, and I did it and uh, had some cool experiences there, won a world championship in 2000. But um, once you get in the NFL, you know, you, you know that it's not gonna last forever. So the opportunity uh, to invest in a, in a car dealership in Florida uh, presented itself and uh, I, I just kind of jumped in. Specifically in the automotive industry, it's tough. It's hard, you have a lot of people, uh, things change every day, and there are some times that when you go to work and you go in the office and, and everything is blown up, the only thing that keeps you going is your passion. I look at myself as an African-American dealer. Let me just say this, I'm a rarity. There are not many of us out there, you know, and, and so when I look at that, I'm like, it, it, it's a shame. There needs to be more uh, dealers of color. There needs to be more people that, that look like me in this industry. First and foremost, it starts with recognizing, number one, we have a problem. Number two, now let's talk about it. Now I've learned this, when you start talking about the, these issues, it gets a little uncomfortable. You know, the only way that we're going to move forward is to start having uncomfortable conversations. I can be a dealer and just say, I'm in it to sell cars and make money. Or I can say, you know what, I've got this Toyota dealership. We have some really, really good influence in this town. And not only can we sell automobiles and sell parts, but boy, we can sell hope. Our biggest issue, especially when it comes to youth, they need a vision. They need other black men and other black women or other minorities that they can look up and say, you know what, that guy's doing it. That guy's a dealer, I can do it. We have to give people in the community a vision. And, I, and again, I believe that's my responsibility in Tallahassee. Because of Coach Bowden, I'm here. I went to his funeral and as a good of a coach as he was, it's funny, 90% of the funeral was not about football, it was about that guy made an impact on my life. And I remember he said one time, he said, people will forget your stats. You know, they'll forget the games. The thing that you want to be remembered for most is really not so much what you did on the football field. What impact did you make off the field? Are people better? Is your town better? Or are your employees better uh, because you were there? That's a lasting impact.